Hey, it's Rick and welcome back to the channel. If you follow my channel, from time to time I do DIY projects, do it yourself, or sometimes I do some product reviews. You never know what I'm going to come up with. So this one kind of stumbled into. Um, my wife and I have recently purchased a new home and we're kind of putting some different things together. And man, with the way the economy's been and trying to source furniture and different things, it's been really difficult. The prices are outrageous. Uh, the timeline to get this stuff is crazy. So she took it upon herself and found um, an office chair for me online. It was in good shape and she thought it was a good deal and she went ahead and purchased it. Well, when I got it in the house and I started to wheel it around, the wheels were all locked up and a bit of a mess. It was like crab walking across the floor. So I kind of researched this online and said, maybe is there something I could do about it? If you can change out those caster wheels. And I thought, well, let me try it. Well, she likes this chair. Didn't want to just throw it out. I mean, it was still a little bit pricey. Um, not compared to a new chair. I mean, this, new ch this chair apparently was like $299 uh, brand new. And it was um, hardly used. There's no wear on it or anything like that. That, so I just wanted to try to see if I could fix it up. So like I said, I, I researched a little bit and I found these really cool wheels online. I'm an Amazon affiliate and eBay affiliate. It's a lot of things I purchase. Um, I do reviews on and then I'll put the links down there and whatever you guys click on, that little bit of residual helps the channel. So I appreciate it. So at the end of this video on the description page, I'll put the links down there to this product. Well, they're called roller blade wheels and they haven't come in yet. I'm waiting on them like everything. Um, I went ahead and purchased them and you uh, get five of them and you you're going to replace your wheels on your chair. So what has happened here is the bearings have completely fell out. Um, they, so now that this doesn't properly work, it flops around. There's so much play here that, you know, this is going to hurt on your floor um, and they're not going to roll very easy. So upon researching this, we can change these out. Now, most wheels that are on the market right now, casters, are a certain length. And you go ahead and measure these and there is a standard for them. I'll try to put a picture in there that shows you exactly what they're used for. The only thing it doesn't work on, apparently, is the um, Ikea chair. I don't believe it's an Ikea chair. I don't know if it's an Ashley or what because of the studying that runs around there. You don't see that too often. And that's what really attracted it to my wife. But this is what I'm going to show you what happens here. Now, these are a little bit greasy. You might want to get yourself a towel or something if it really bothers you or some gloves. You're going to hold the bottom of your chair and you're going to pull towards the chair itself. And they wiggle it and it should pull right out. And I'll show you that again. and it pulls right out. So the new wheels that are gonna come in, supposedly, what they have is this little lock nut on here that runs around there and that catches on the inside of there and keeps it from coming out. And they're all universal. So we'll slide the new ones in and hopefully we'll have ourselves almost like a brand new chair. And I can't wait to see these new wheels. They look like the old school roller blades. I got them in like a black texture and they've got like a, a sealed ball bearing system. It's supposed to be better. It's good for uh, low nap carpet and hardwoods and vinyl plank flooring, whatever. Um, they're supposed to roll real easy. So I can't wait to get them in and I'll show you the install and popping them in. And we'll wait for that. And with the beauty of editing, you'll see that next. So here we go, uh, one week later, and our wheels are in. It says Furniture Casters, AMS Deal, I guess that's a play on Amazon. Strong weighing is unimpeded. Durable, no noise, 360 rotation. Super polyurethane material, model AZ-01. 18 month warranty, believe it or not. So let's see what these babies look like. Hopefully you can see that. They are kind of cool looking. Look like um, rollerblades. And like I said, I got the darker style. So it would match the chair. Um, wood color here being dark. And hopefully that'll blend. Wow, nice and smooth. Just like a rollerblade. Has AMS deal printed on there. I guess they have it uh, set up for themselves. And there's the bolt that goes through there. And that's what makes this different than a lot of the manufacturers. You can take this off in case you get a lot of hair and um, you know, like cat hair, human hair, whatever, caught into the wheel or into the bearing assembly here. 
you can remove it. A lot of them have, and then the bearings for the top part are up in there and they're sealed. As you can see, maybe right there, all along in here. It makes a really strong pivot. Nice, solid neoprene rubber. And boy, that is smooth. No noise whatsoever. Let me shut up so you can hear. Absolutely nothing. No sound at all. Now let me give you a basic measurement of what I can come up with. It's about a three inch wheel. It's gonna sit up from the end there to the bottom about four and a half inches. And the width across this way is about four inches. So maybe that'll help. All right, so let's get to the part where you wanna see, and I wanna see if these actually work. Now I'm gonna put these up against the other ones and they're pretty close. Maybe, oh wow, 16th of an inch difference. Got a nicer set ring in there, lock ring. And you can see the plates and all compared to what we had. Hopefully these are gonna hold up longer. All right, here we go. There we go. Went right in. Let's try another one. Yeah. Press a little bit. You might want to put a little lubricant in there. If not, kind of went right in. Just hold it and slide them in. And they pivot fine, move around. Not a lot of play like the other ones were. And they're all the way in. So, let's see if you had a problem if you could pull these back out. Yeah, they'll pop back out too. So, if there was any issue, you can take them out. Some manufacturers did recommend that you put a little lubricant on there, but these went right in, so I'm not going to just be something else that might drip out on your carpet or on your floor. Okay, so they're installed, and here's the hard surface here. This is our vinyl plank flooring, and it rolls real easy. I was actually wheeling my wife all around the house, and we were <laughs> having fun with it. Um, I got my lounge pants on, so it's early in the morning here, so we just decided to see what it was like. But on... Um, this uh, hard surface like this, no problem at all. And I'm, I weigh about 225, so it's not putting any stress on these wheels at all. Now we're gonna take it over into the office where we've got like a short nap carpet and see if it binds up there. Okay, so here we put it into the uh, office here and it's on short nap carpeting. Uh, my wife's on it there. Doesn't seem like it's getting stuck in the carpet or anything. Rolls really well on the carpet. <laughs> it was a worthwhile purchase on your part then. I guess we refurbished it and got it working right. Um, let me have Michelle hop up because everybody's going to say, well, she's lighter than you are. So let me hop in there, Michelle. All right, put my fat butt in here. Yep, still not. I'm putting all my weight on there. No problem. It's not bunching up the carpet. It's not sticking. It's moving around. No problem at all. I'm not taking any weight off of the chair. So I'm happy with this, guys, girls. I think it's gonna work out great for us. Maybe it'll be a good project for you. You got a chair you like, um, you know, maybe the wheels are gone and you want to trash it because of it, you don't have to. Um, I hope this works out for you. Once again, that subscribe button was running in the bottom of the corner there. Please hit it and smash that bell icon on YouTube. And also give us a thumbs up, a like, and on the uh, description page, I'll also put links to the um, the wheels there, if you like them. Please share with your family and friends. Let me know how you make out with yours. Take care.